All right, so this is uh, chapter 10, Small Bodies Orbiting the Sun. Um, sometimes uh, in other textbooks, this is called uh, Space Debris. All right, so um, one of the things that we're going to find out about this is, um, th these small bodies, is they can tell us a lot of information about the, the, uh, the solar system when it was very, very young. Because a lot of these um, objects have not, have not uh, varied um, since the formation of the solar system. All right, so let's get into this. Um, uh, so so, so the, the, the small bodies that we're talking about are meteors, um, asteroids, and comets. And, and in fact, we're going to find out that meteors um, are actually come from asteroids and comets. All right, so, so uh, this is, um, this picture right here is a, is an, is a, uh, an, a comet in, in the sky. Um, you know, if, if you haven't, if you've never seen a really bright comet, it, it's definitely, um, it, it's something to behold. Uh, and, and they, so it's, it's not like something that streaks across the sky, like, like a meteor. Um, that, that's, that, that's not what, what we're talking about with comets. Um, when, with, with a comet, you see this, um, this long tail across, uh, uh, across the sky and, and it will last for, for weeks to even months, months sometimes. Um, there, there was a comet in the 1990s that, uh, you know, I, they, they called Hale Bob that I saw for, for many, many months. Um, and, and it was actually one of the brightest comets I've ever seen. Uh, of course, uh, there's Halley's Comet. We'll, we'll talk more about that later. Um, the asteroids, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. There, the, so the, these are the, these are going to lead us to different regions of the solar system. So uh, the the asteroids are mostly between Mars and Jupiter. Um, not that, but that's not all of them. There are other asteroids as well. Um, but but the most of them exist right between Mars and Jupiter. Um, the comets. Uh, well, there, there's different locations. Um, there, there's some comets that are out in the region beyond Neptune. Um, the, the region beyond Neptune out to see the, it's, it's actually hard to say how far out it goes. Um, but generally about a hundred astronomical units away. Um, so, so that, that region, you know, from, from, from the orbit of Neptune out to about a hundred, maybe 200 astronomical units. Um, that's, those are, that's the region of short period comets. And then even further than that, and, and by the way, that, that region's called the Kuiper Belt. Um, and, and so we'll, we'll discuss that. Pluto is now a member of the Kuiper Belt. It's considered a, a dwarf planet or a minor planet. Um, it's, it's referred to both ways. Um, all right. And, and, and then beyond the, the Kuiper Belt and in, in a sphere surrounding the entire solar system, are these icy bodies um, that that uh, the long period comets come from? All right, so let's. We're, what we're going to do is we'll start out. We'll talk about meteors, um, and then we'll, then we'll get into asteroids and comets and and minor planets. Uh, yeah. All right. So. Uh, all right. So um, asteroids and comets orbiting the sun. There's a bunch of different objects, um, including the asteroids and the comets. Um, asteroids are generally rocky. They, they don't have to be, by the way, um, but, but most of them. OK, so most of them that we find are, um, are made of rocky material. Um, comets tend to be icy. Um, they they uh, and they, they can be um, Water ice, they, they can actually have ammonia ice in them. Um, yeah, at, at any rate, uh, in fact, a good description of a comet, a very, very good description, and I saw this a long, long time ago, I read, read about this, um, would be a dirty snowball. That, that's a really good description of, of comets. Um, and, and one of the things that happens to comets, of course, because they're made of ice, is um, they will, uh, they, they will heat up and, um, they, they don't, they, they generally go from being a solid into a gas as, as is shown right here. The dust tail is, is gaseous material. 
um, that always faces away from the sun. We'll, we'll get into that. Um, and then uh, there's sometimes you can also see what's called an ion tail, and that um, faces away from, uh, or it basically follows the the the, uh, the magnetic field of the sun. All right, so the, the something like this would be relatively close to the sun. Um, you know, within about two two or three um, astronomical units from the sun. Remember, one astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. All right, so, um, so as I said before, the asteroids and comets are remnants um, from the formation of the solar system. That's why we studied, you know, that's one of the reasons that we studied them. So there were, you know, these, these things have um, undergone very little change as time goes on, uh, in, you know, since, since the beginning of the solar system. So, you know, if we can st study them in their pristine state, you know, n not the state like this, like the, the, this picture, this would not be pristine because, you know, the, the, this gas is coming off, this, this, this gas has undergone what's called sublimation. It's turned directly, it's turned from a, from a solid, uh, which, you know, in the form of solid, that would be pristine, but then now it's, it's, it's heated up and is turned into a gas. All right, so so uh, we want to we want to study this stuff. Hopefully, before that happens. Um, all right. Anyhow, um, asteroids and comets play a central role in planetary impacts and have large influences on the Earth's biological life. In fact, we think um, some of these things have have caused mass extinctions. Uh, and, and one of them, in particular, uh, happened about sixty five million years ago. All right. So which you know, if, 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 you, if, you, if you think about 65 million years ago, that was the end of the dinosaurs, right? And, and then after that, of course, that's when mammals began to, uh, I mean, mammals existed before, um, you know, b before 65 million years ago, but uh, they weren't the predominant um, species on, uh, on the planet. Um, once the dinosaurs were wiped out, uh, the, the, the mammals, um, uh, began to to uh, um, you know evolve in a more complex way, um, which of course led to us. All right, um, let's see. So so this is uh, so, so you know uh, meteors and meteorites. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll talk about that um, very briefly. If you if you you know look up in the sky in the nighttime sky, and usually this is better after midnight. By the way. Um, you will see a, a, a shooting, what, they, what is traditionally called a shooting star. It has nothing at all to do with stars, okay? So, so you know, even though people call it a shooting star and they wish upon us a shooting star, it has absolutely nothing to do with stars. This is um, little bits of comet and, and asteroid material that is floating around in space and basically comes is crashing into our planet. Usually it's crashing into the upper atmosphere of our planet and that it heats up the you know the, the you know as it passes in into our atmosphere it heats up the molecules in the upper atmosphere and that's that's the you know that's the the streak of light that you see. And by mo the vast majority majority of them burn up in the upper atmosphere. They completely vaporize um, in, in the upper atmosphere. All right, um, so, so there's a couple, there's a little bit some terminology that, that we need to make sure that we understand. All right, um, so a meteoroid, all right, so a meteoroid is any of these small bodies in space. All right, so a, a, a tiny little um, solid object in space. And, and they can be, um, you know, really tiny, like a grain of sand, like a little grain of sand, um, you know, that, that, that's, that passing along through space, it, you know, within our solar system, of course. Um, and, and, uh, all right. So, so, so that, that, that's, and then when, when that's, when that hits the earth's atmosphere, that's a meteor. All right. So that's, that's called a meteor. So a meteoroid, it's out there in space, you know, merrily going along 
And then if it happens to hit our atmosphere, then we call it a meteor, a meteor, right? So that it's, so it's a meteor, you know, and, and if the thing that we see, this, this, this quote, shooting star phenomena is just the, the meteor um, heating up the upper atmosphere, the, the molecules in the upper atmosphere and leaving a streak of light. Um, and and they, by the way, these things sometimes, um, like when I, when I was when I was really young, um, I, I remember going out and uh, and seeing seeing some of these um, you know meteorites. I mean, it was it, it was sorry the meteors, and uh, some of them are actually um, pretty substantial. You, um, the, the the ones that that will burn up and and leave a streak of of, of light. Um, it, 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 there was one in particular I remember when I was a kid um, that that uh, that I that I looked up and, and saw and it it was it actually was so um, it was so big it, it was is what 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 was which I didn't know at the time it's it's called a fireball and and it left actually um, for for even after the streak of light. Uh, was gone, you know, the, the, these shooting stars, right, are very, very brief. I mean, sometimes just a fraction of a second. But th this thing, it, the, the, like the, it actually left like a smoke trail. And, and so that's called a fireball. Um, and, and it actually, uh, um, f you know, I, I, I could actually hear it, right? So, so it actually, as it passed through, it must have been relatively close, um, you know, in in uh, to, to where I was standing, um, because I could actually hear, um, you know, it made like a, a whistling sound. Uh, all right, anyhow, but that's a pretty rare thing. To it, it's usually just a quick streak of light, and and like and the reason for that, of course, is most of them are little microscopic, um, or you know, not my, sometimes microscopic, but but usually um, you know about the size of a grain of sand. All right. Um, all right. So they are they're heating up to enormous temperatures as they as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. Um, oh, this is what they were talking about with the fire a fireball. Um, they, they're pretty rare to see the fireballs, but um, so sometimes you know if you've spent enough time uh, looking up, looking up, uh, especially like at nighttime, uh, and as as it says, there there are times when you can actually see some of these fireballs. During the day, um, if you search YouTube, you can you you know that there's various times when um, you you can actually see these things, especially like uh, um, in Europe, they have a lot of uh, cameras on on their cars, and and they, you, so sometimes you'll actually see some of these fireballs, um, you, like from you know not not because people are looking or anything, it's just. The, the fire the, the, their their camera happens to see um, this 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 object in the sky uh, and th that is what, what we would classify as a fireball um, now, and some of them by the way uh, will will actually reach the ground um, in that, now again that's even more rare but when it does reach the ground it's called a meteorite right so meteorites are it's it's large enough. Um, when, and it, it doesn't completely vaporize, you know, part of it actually will hit, strike the ground, right? And so, um, and, and, you know, when, when we do an analysis, it turns out that there are literally tons and tons of material that hits the earth every single day, right? So, so any given day, there's material constantly raining down from, from space. Uh, in, during the day and during the night, um, not now, not not so much during the day. Um, the, and the reason that it's it's actually easier to see these things at nighttime is it's actually a really simple idea. Is uh, you know, if you were let's say it's raining, right? Uh, if you were to run through the rain, you know, the the front of you would get wet, more more wet than than the back of you. Because you're you, you know you're running into the rain and and uh, you know the, the back of you is going to get wet but not as wet and and this, this is the same thing with with the earth as as the earth plunges through these 
these these meteorites um, 